Oh, it is awesome to the light to share how to solve this differential equation. We can first rewrite the equation. We have dy dx is equal to x plus 2y divided by x minus y. As we can see, the variables are not separable, but they are of the same degree, which means that this is homogeneous differential equation. We can let y be equal to vx. Differentiate both sides with respect to x, which obtain dy dx is equal to v plus x dv dx if we apply the product rule now substitute this into the equation that we form so which means that we have v plus x dv dx is equal to x plus 2 times vx divided by x minus vx factorize x for both the numerator of and the denominator of the right hand side so we have x times 1 plus 2v divided by x times 1 minus v. Simplify the right hand side we should obtain 1 plus 2v over 1 minus v. Since the v is on this side we can bring plus v to the right. So plus become minus v and the left hand side left only x dv dx. Standardize the denominator of the right hand side so we should have 1 plus 2v minus v times 1 so minus v minus minus plus v squared divided by 1 minus v is equal to x dv dx. Simplify the right hand side. So we have plus 2 minus 1, which is plus 1. And now we can split the variable. So we have 1 minus v over 1 plus v plus v squared dv is equal to 1 over x dx. Integrate both sides. With the corresponding variable. To integrate this, we can apply completing the square. So when we complete the square, we should have 1 over v over v plus 1 over 2 square plus 3 over 4. And this is equal to the right hand side 1 over x dx. To make the integration easier, we can let u be equal to v plus 1 over 2, which means that v is equal to u minus 1 over 2. Differentiate both sides with respect to v, we should obtain du is equal to dv. Now substitute this into the equation that we have. So integrate 1 minus v is equal to minus u minus minus plus 1 over 2. So 1 plus 1 over 2, which is 3 over 2 minus u divided by u square plus 3 over 4 du is equal to integrate 1 over x dx again to make the integration easier we can bring this 4 to the upper part so which means that we times 4 for both the numerator and denominator so we should obtain 4 times 3 over 2 which is 6 and minus 4u over 4u square plus 3u is equal to integrate 1 over x dx. Now we can split the fraction. So we should have 6 over 4u square plus 3 minus 4u over 4u square plus 3 du is equal to integrate 1 over x dx. Recall that if let's say when we integrate 1 over 1 plus x squared dx, we should obtain out tangent x plus c. By comparing, here we have x squared plus 1. This is 4u squared plus 3. So what we have to do here is factorize 3. If we factorize 3, so which means that we should have integrate 3 times 4 over 3u square plus 1. Since we factorize 3 for the denominator, we can factorize 3 for the numerator part as well. So that we can simplify since we can cancel 3 for both the numerator and denominator. And for the second term, remain 4u over 4u square plus 3 du is equal to integrate 1 over x dx. And now what we have to do here is we have a dummy here x x squared. Now in order for us to have something squared, we can rewrite. So this part we should have 2 squared 
set 3 square so we obtain 4 over 3 again so we have a term which is similar to this plus 1 and the numerator part is constant what we need here is 1 so 2 we can take out 2 and put it here so we should have 1 and minus 4u over 4u square plus 3 du is equal to integrate 1 over x dx again compared to the standard form when we differentiate x we obtain 1 but the problem here this is not only u but we have 2 over 3 2 over 3 u so when we differentiate this we should obtain 2 over 3 but if let's say we time this this is imbalanced f as compared to the previous line so what we have to do here is if we times this we have to divide the same thing so which means that we divide in other words we times set 3 over 2 now we have 2 times 1 over 2 cancel each other and we left only set 3 and now we have the standard form already so which means that we should obtain a tangent and this is x because we have x square but this is not x square so we should copy this term 2 over set 3 u and now we can proceed to the second term so when we differentiate the denominator part of the second term differentiate 4u square we should obtain 8u but we have only 4 so which means that we need to times 2 if we times 2 this is definitely imbalanced if compared to the previous line so which means that we times 1 over 2 to balance it so this is the constant we need to copy so we have minus 1 over 2 and we just have to apply loan loan 4u square plus 3 and this is equal to integrate 1 over x very easy simply loan x remember to add the constant c now we can rewrite the equation by replacing u with x and y we can see that u is equal to v plus 1 over 2 and v is equal to y over x so which means that u is equal to y over x plus 1 over 2 now we should have set 3 of tangent 2 over set 3 times y over x plus 1 over 2 minus 1 over 2 loan we have 4 times y over x plus 1 over 2 whole thing square plus 3 and this is equal to the right hand side loan x plus c let's simplify so we have set 3 of tangent 2 over set 3 we can standardize the denominator so we have 2y plus x over 2x minus 1 over 2 loan times 4 so we can standardize so which means that we have y times 2 plus x divided by 2x square plus 3 is equal to loan x plus c so this one we can cancel the 2 since we have common factor here and this is equal to set 3 of tangent 1 over set 3 or we can multiply inside so which means that this is equal to 2y plus x divided by set 3x and we minus 1 over 2 loan 2 square is equal to 4 so which means that we can cancel this 4 and we left only 2y plus x whole thing square divided by x square plus 3 is equal to loan x plus c the first term is considered completed so we just copy because cannot be simplified further and for the second term we can simplify further so we have we can standardize the denominator so which means that we times x square over x square 
order second term so we should have we can also expand the first term so we have 4y squared plus 4xy plus x squared 3 times x squared plus 3x squared divided by x squared is equal to ln x plus c so this is equal to set 3 of tangent 2y plus x over set 3 x and we minus 1 over 2 ln 4 4 and this is 1 plus 3 also 4 so we have common term here 4 we can take our common factor 4 and this left only y square plus xy plus x square divided by x square is equal to ln x plus c recall that according to the law of logarithms if we have ln a times b so which means that it's equal to ln a plus ln b so which means that we can split this part and we should have set 3 of tangent 2y plus x over set 3x minus 1 over 2 ln 4 plus minus minus 1 over 2 ln we have y square plus x y plus x square divided by x square and this is equal to ln x plus c and according to the law of logarithms if we have ln 1 over 2 which means that we have ln 1 minus ln 2 so this one we can split as well or we can first bring the coefficient and bring it up as power so which means that we have set 3 of tangent 2y plus x over set 3x minus 1 over 2 ln 4 is a constant so we can group this constant or what we call bring this to the right so we combine c and negative 1 over 2 ln 4 and we can let it become c2 so we have minus 1 over 2 ln y square plus x y plus x square and we have minus minus become plus so 1 over 2 ln x if we have a ln b so this is equal to ln b a so which means that 1 over 2 times 2 is equal to 1 in other words we have plus ln x plus ln x cancel with plus ln x so which means that we left so 3 of tangent 2y plus x divided by set 3x is equal to we can bring this negative to the right 1 over 2 ln y square plus xy plus x square and finally we add the constant c and we done okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you